Okay guys, this is Turn Green Go Ham and welcome back. Uh, we're continuing on with the Demon Souls Remake Complete Walkthrough. Now, uh, in the last episode we got through the first half of this uh, Swamp of Sorrow. Uh, and now we're going to work our way through the uh, last portion, unlock our shortcut, and take on the area boss. So, uh, you'll notice I actually have uh, Cloak up here. I wanted to get Cloak to uh, sneak up on the Crystal Lizard that we'll have uh, a little bit later. So, I uh, used the uh, Shard of Archstone, headed back, uh, grabbed that, and then just ran back over to this point. So. Uh, we're going to continue on from here. Uh, we've got a lot of scaffolding up here, and there are actually quite a few enemies up here. So uh, do be careful. It's it's not uh, it's not a gimme. They're they're kind of around every corner that you go here. Go ahead and see if we can take these guys. That's our poison guy again. So good to get him dead. Right over here, there should be a couple of guys right around this corner. Well, at least one. Man, those camera angles. Uh, that's one thing about Souls games, man. Um, you've always had to fight camera angles, for sure. I think you can uh, get there. I think you have to roll from over there, so we'll grab that in a second. Go ahead and take care of this guy since he's just meandering around right there. Here, this one. And that's, that's a lot of really slow swinging he's doing there. It's kind of hard to read. Hop up here now? Okay. We definitely have to come back and get that from the other direction. Uh, you do have to watch out. There are poisoners here. And like I said, everybody tends to come at you from around the corner somewhere. Like right here? Yep. Get a heal off real quick before something else bad happens. Grab our Noble's Lotus. Yeah, so I think that's the point where you hop up. It's been a while, uh, even since I played uh, the remake. That's, uh, yeah, I think that's a hop up area. Up, down, hop up. Gotta be a way to get up there. I don't know that there were items up there previously, though. So, uh, that looks kind of like a new area to go explore. We'll go ahead and grab this while we're here. The guy monkeying around in the soup down there. Ah. Hop up here, grab this. Faint stone shard. And then that drop from the top. I think you can actually get back this direction though. Run back this way. Up here. And of course we got poisoned again. So you have to drop here. Rotten arrows. If you're a, a bowman and you want some poison arrows, there you go. This one, yeah, that's the one that we have to get from up top now. I don't remember there being anything up there, so now uh, we're going to figure this out together and figure out how to get up there. None of this breaks, I'm sure that would be too easy. So maybe we progress and then uh, come back across the top there. Got hiding in here. There we go.
Now this looks kind of familiar. You know, they changed they changed the uh, textures so much that this place just looks totally new. It really does. There's plenty of people up here to mess with us. Head up top real quick. Got our poison in here. Take care of him before he has a chance to poison us. And be careful. Watch your watch your health, because sometimes you get poisoned so much here. Sometimes you forget um, to check and make sure you're not poisoned. Uh, so keep an eye on your health bar. Uh, it is a very slow ticking poison, so you may end up just... Uh, not paying attention and dying in the middle of uh, walking around, right? I believe I did that on my uh, original Demon Souls walkthrough. I was just walking around and all of a sudden, oh, dead. Grab this over here. Back this way and see if we can find the uh, area to Drop down. Okay, there's the item we saw way up top. Chodel. Uh, that's an interesting weapon. It goes around shields, so that's nice. What exactly do we get? Is it a board that we walk on here? Doesn't make any sense. How am I supposed to uh, get in there? Just walk forward, maybe? Yeah, okay. Alright. So just keep walking forward there, you'll make it in. Alright, let's head back uh, this direction. We've got all the items here. We are about to our shortcut, so we can start uh, unlocking the shortcut and knowing that we're safe with our souls and. Uh, have a quick run back to the boss if need be. Uh, item over there in the swamp. Let's wait until we find a... Oh, I was going to say an easy access, but here it is. Go ahead and go get it. I'm sure there'll be some kind of groovy trap over here while we're in the water. As if the poison isn't enough. Into storage, that's dark moon grass. Yes, definitely want that. More dark moon grass. I like it. Anything else? So let's head on back up. I don't know if you guys have been noticing this while I'm running around, but the uh, the physics on this hat. They're absolutely phenomenal. That is the best part of this hat by far. I mean, yeah, it's 20-25% buff to spell power, but the physics though. Okay, so we headed back that way. This way is kind of to the boss. I mean, we can go grab the item since we're here. But it very much is uh, the path to the boss here. Are you gonna jump down? Are you just gonna stay up there? I see. You were bait. That might have kind of been a trap if he had ran up on me. Jump up here, jump up here. Gonna kind of clear everything out before the boss, and then we'll head back and get that shortcut. How do we get in there? Oh, <laughs> easier than I thought it would be. And faint stone chunk. Okay, so uh, if you remember, I was uh, speaking about. Uh, an island on the way here 
uh, that had a bunch of big boys and that we would get it uh, a little bit later. Um, I wanted to get the shortcut and feel safe uh, before we go handle the island full of big boys and you'll see why they they're just uh, they're a handful and we're a caster and we can't roll in the soup so I feel like this was uh, definitely the right choice now we want to pay attention because somewhere along here is going to be our uh, crystal lizard we're also going to have some first of all there's an item down there uh, we're also going to have some Mosquitoes. And I don't remember if this is one of the areas or not, but there's, uh, you know, guys that come out of the cliffs too, so. Always be looking for a hole in the cliff, that's for sure. We've come a long way here. This, uh, this map is definitely the largest map in the game. Fortunately for a good portion of it, um, you're, you're stuck slow walking, so it feels even larger. Um, see any holes in the cliff where they come out, unless this was it pet back here in a pet note. There's usually a torch uh, where there's a hole in the cliff. There was one that we passed uh, a while back, but they had already come out by the time we got there. So it's not like they uh, snuck up on us or anything. That, that The way that looks made me nervous I was gonna fall. We can start to see the area where the crystal lizard's supposed to be here. Throw this thing. Cloak for the crystal lizard. You uh you stuck, buddy? You're free. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use cloak. Somehow the crystal lizard's not here. Maybe uh, we scared him in some way uh, earlier. I don't know. So there's our shortcut. Uh, now we've got a shortcut back to our boss. I feel better about uh, taking care of the guys on the island now. We will have to drop down to take care of them and then uh, run back through uh, to the last area we were just at. You can see them right there, just uh, three of the big ones. And I don't know if they all pulled together or not. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down here. I can see if there's anything back here. I seem to remember there being one path like this, but I think that was the one at the beginning that we already grabbed the um, Lucerne type uh, weapon out of. So, Pop off on our MP. Our late moon grass ready. We'll probably top off once real quick. And um, I'm going to cloak. Shoot this guy. Oh, that's not good. And that's why we got the short. <laughs> okay guys so we made it back we grabbed our souls uh we used cloak just to run up there and grab them i'm going to cloak and i'm going to get well within range because the thing about homing soul arrow is that i found out it likes to fire off before you're in range so we have to make sure we're fully in range before we fire that thing off so um we're going to cloak fire that off and then ready a uh soul ray 
And we're going to do that one at a time as we work our way through these guys. Uh, careful not to pull anybody else. So, pop off here. Get out of here and get well within range. So, wait for the lock on and then get much closer. And then back up before the cloak wears off. We're actually going to swing out and hit this one way on the other end here first, since he's kind of off by himself. Put the cloak out. Get well within range. Pick him out and back up again. Take that guy out next. Wait for our cloak timer to run out. Well within range. And there we go. So we got one more. Actually, let's let's not get hasty. Let's let's wait it out. Uh, last thing we want to do is get to the last guy and have him murder us. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some health here. Cloak. Go. And done. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is an island uh, full of stone of ephemeral eyes. So if you're low on ephemeral eyes, there you go. Now you may uh, have a hard time getting to it, uh, but uh, there, there they are. Okay, guys. So my uh, recording got interrupted there for a second. Uh, I picked up a set of items here. Let me show you where we're at. This is the island where we just took down the four uh, big bads. And then directly over here, this island, there's going to be a slug on this island. And when you kill him, uh, he's going to drop you an armor set. So sorry I didn't get that uh, recorded there, but we'll take a look here. We've got uh, the dull gold set. So uh, it is a female only set. Um, but I just wanted to show you that it is uh, here on this island. Right here. So, uh, now that we've taken care of our island of four big bads and we've gotten all the items here in the zone, uh, it's time to take the boss out. Now, before we do that, go ahead and sit here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a archstone shard to get back because we want to have our firestorm for the boss. So we'll head back. We're going to change out our uh, spell loadout. It's the wrong side. That's the miracle side. Go talk to Yuria here. Are you certain you wish to learn which would are you sure? And attuned. So right now we've got cloak, soul ray, and homing soul arrow. So we're gonna take soul arrow off, and we're gonna put firestorm on. That'll leave our soul ray and our cloak. Uh, the boss we're coming up on, um, he's big and moves kind of slow, so firestorm is gonna be perfect for that. Right place. Back to the swamp of sorrow we go one last time. I did stop stop by the uh, Nexus uh, before I run back to the big island and grab uh, some more grass. We have plenty in the bank, so um, at, up to this point we haven't been using much uh, full and just a little bit of late. So uh, make sure you check when you're in town. Um, 
just because uh, you don't have any on doesn't mean you don't have any because uh, we've been uh, having to send stuff that we can't carry uh, back to the storage. This is where our crystal lizard is. It'll show up again after we kill the next two bosses. And then don't forget we've got some mosquitoes coming up. Um, so don't run up on them. If you run up on them, they'll get the stab on you. There's one right there. Take care of this guy. And then there should be a couple more, yeah. Back and now we should be down to uh, just some melee enemies on the way back now we did uh, we did have an item down here so we'll uh, drop down grab that and work our way back up from that side over there this is the last little thing for us to pick up here Catch him before he has a chance to do poison. And get our unknown hero soul here. And the shaman's tabby, shaman's armbands, and shaman's garb. So there's another armor set for you. But yeah, we're headed for that little uh, outcropping right there. And don't accidentally try to roll once you get in the water like I did. Keep in mind, there were a lot of guys around here, so uh, be careful, see where they're all coming from. Trying to surround me here. Okay, dude, calm down. Back up and get a heal. I guess we're getting stuck in the water here. Now jump up. There we go. I couldn't get him to hop up a second ago. Take care of this guy. I could have swore there was a guy around that corner. I guess not. Easy, dude. I'm telling you, the stagger on these guys is ridiculous. And all the posts and everything make it kind of a chore to come through here and get good clean hits on them. Little poison guy right here. Take care of him. And I believe we are poisoned, so let's go ahead and clear that. Grab a heal. I can't stand to leave a shiny behind. Age Spice. That's a good pickup. Uh, I missed my hop up. Where's my hop up spot? Here it is. Get out of here. Uh, you remember he was up on that ledge so that we would walk forward and get hit by that guy. Serious right now. Alright, settle down, sir. Settle down. Care of this guy, and we are almost back to the boss now. 
they back to the boss, but to the boss for the first time. Okay, so this guy, uh, he's got kind of a protective coating on him. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's, uh, you have to burn through that before you can then damage him. Firestorm, this guy's gonna be pretty, pretty simple with the Firestorm. So, uh, we're just gonna run in and uh, do our thing here. It's uh, not much of a fight for a caster, honestly. So you're gonna wanna get behind him. Dodge the swing. Catch your fire shot. Go ahead and grab a heal. And he does poison you. You can see there that uh, we're taking the reduced heal. Hold this firestorm in and down he goes. Dirty Colossus. Piece of cake. Uh, one of the easier bosses in the uh, game. Even if you're melee. Uh, honestly, all you gotta do is get behind him and beat him up until he loses that little coating. Uh, and then he's uh, really easy there. Dark Moon Grass. Run over here. Like any good boss room in Demon Souls, there's always items. Grab the Storied Warrior Soul. And here's our Archstone. Eroded Demon Soul. Uh, so we're going to head back to the Nexus. It's time to level up. Remember, we're trying to get our strength and dexterity up here uh, so that we can wear the phosphorescent pole when we get to that. So let's find our soul waifu here. And she's over by Stockpile Thomas. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch the demon. And what do we got? Probably two. Wait, wrong stat. Okay. So that'll take us to 16 and 14. So we need two more points. I don't know how many souls we have. Let's take a look real quick. Maybe we can grab one more level before we take on the next boss. Yeah, I do want to use these. I feel like we have enough to uh, grab another level here. Maybe get both the levels. Remember what our last uh, level cost us, but let's check it out. Yeah, there we go. All right, we are ready for the phosphorescent pole, which is good because uh, we're about wrapped up with this area, which means we can go back and take care of uh, Black Phantom Rydell. Art thou finished? Yes, I am finished. So, uh, that takes care of the second area of the Swamp of Sorrow. Uh, from the next episode, we're going to take on the final boss of the area. Uh, first, we've got a little white tendency uh, event to take care of, so we'll go handle that and then uh, move on to the final boss. And then we will head back and take care of the black tendency portion of Tower of Latria uh, in the following episode. So. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notifications icon if you want updates anytime new videos come out. And uh, hit me up in the comments section. Uh, I enjoy chatting with you guys. So uh, anyway, until the next video, thanks for watching.